your combined 11. So we had 15. So we had a discussion here in studio about 13 months ago at this point, where we were going in off the back of an incredible 2018 to play England at home in the Six Nations, get 2019 off to a great start and we discussed. Before we win the World Cup, yeah. Before we win the World Cup. Uh, we, have, we have actually the video of uh, this uh, now infamous moment on OTB AM. I, I, was, I did an interview 15 minutes ago and I was asked, what England player would I want? You know, if I could pick one, who would I want to bring across? Yeah. And I went through the whole thing. <laughs> and then the journalist said, so that's none. <laughs> And I, I then backtracked because I didn't want them to say none on, in his article. So I said, oh, I fit Manu too laggy, but I don't think Manu would want to. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't think you're dropping either of our, our guys. Um, so Did the polo get in our team? Um, or was it only Vijay? Yeah, I think Billy does. Yeah. I think that, that's, uh, maybe I should ring him back up and say, Billy, <laughs> too late. I missed opportunity. Um, but there's really not. Like, yeah. even... Even the, com the, the second row, James Ryan, for me, is, you know, he's in. That's it. Yeah. And then Dev Toner for, for your line-out, and now what he's doing around the park. And our front row, yeah. you know, their hooker's not, you know, is certainly no better than Rory Best, whatever their option is there, no way. Um, back row, maybe Billy would have been, would have been the choice. You know, we phone out and text you, man. <laughs> so we should... Uh, state that we totally agreed with Brian at the time and uh, we got it wrong. Oh, at least just Billy Villapolo. What are you? You were sitting there going, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Screw you and your chariot 15, England. 15 green jerseys. What was the worst thing up. you said about England that you ended up getting a lot of... No, it was, it was to do with Ireland. I was like, to the Irish public, get used to being superior. Right. Which obviously uh, exploded in my face pretty uh, sensationally, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> very, very bad 2019 for that take. But, you know... Oh, Farrell said it in the huddle. We, we, no, that was dubbed over, yeah. No, no, it was, it was real. It was, sorry, yeah. Of course it was real. So you live by the sword, you die by the sword. We're going back in because uh, fool me once and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I don't know if this could be something that uh, we live to regret, but I think it, it's more of an even tilt this year. We're picking our combined England-Ireland 15. Uh, we'll start with full-back. I've gone for uh, Jordan Armour. On the wings, I've gone for Johnny May and Andrew Conway. At inside centre, Owen Farrell. Outside him, Manu Tuolagi. Half-backs, this might actually... Uh, cause a bit of ire from England fans. I've gone for Murray and Sexton uh, as, as my half-back pairing. Murray wasn't even your first choice for Ireland like three weeks ago. Yeah, but look you at the day now. Things you change. changed your chair. Look, look, look what happened after one game against England last year. We would have changed that? Like you 100% would have I'll put you, Young and Ford last year. I think I, I'm backing Murray and Sexton. I'm saying that they are back. Uh, the pack goes like this. Michael Bunapola, Jamie George, Tyke Furlong. In the second row, Mario Toje, James Ryan. And then a back row of Curry Underhill, Billy Vinopola. So things have changed quite a bit in the space of 13 months. Curry Underhill, Billy Vinopola. Yeah, which is, you know... 9-6 okay. to England. 9-6 to Ireland. It's a, no, it's, it can't possibly be 9-6 to Ireland. It has to be... 9-6 to England. Yeah. So their entire front row, apart from Ty Furlong. Yeah. Marwa Toja and James Ryan. Yeah. Tom Curry at 6, Underhill at 7. I mean, Tom Curry obviously not playing at 6 at the moment. But Billy Vinopola at 8. Mm -hmm. But this is my team. I'm the, I'm the head coach. Like I, I know that Curry is a six, even if Eddie Jones doesn't know that. Is Billy fit? Is he going to play this? Let's, let's forget about fitness right now. Like. Okay. Conor Murray at nine, Johnny Sexton ten. Johnny May. Johnny May is one of the best players in world rugby at the moment on the form that he's showing. Uh, Farrell at 12. Tuolagi at 13. Tuolangi. Andrew Conway at 14. Jordan Larmer at 15. I like my team. I, think, I, think, I don't think many people could... Uh, so as, as a Lions team, who, who's missing? When you, how many, like, is it, is it just Ireland and England there for the Lions? Basically? Yeah, absolutely. Forget about Scotland, Wales. Who, who cares about them anyway? I, I think uh, Ford would be the omission there that most people would be angry about that perhaps, given the form he's shown recently, he might deserve to be ahead of Johnny Sexton. But I disagree. I think uh, class being uh, permanent and all that sort of thing comes to mind. I think right. it's more to do with Sexton and what he has shown him. Like, what... I think he's actually starting to show in this year's Six Nations. I think he's back. Back, back. So, uh, World Player of the Year back? Not that back, but uh, back enough to make an Ireland-England combined 15. He could play all year this year, you know. He's fit at the moment. Win a Champions Cup. Do you have a, have a good series in the summer? Unnecessarily play him in the summer? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, that one. Well, they definitely Again. won't. They, they won't. Because they, that, like... Well, they might because of the importance of the seeding. If you get a top seed and, you know... Really we have that now, don't really we? We've gone back up in, in the rankings. We, we are now a, a top 
a top seed for, for the World Cup draw. I think that until we, you know, we don't beat England, hammered. beat France, and then win Number our, one in the world. Win our European or win our uh, summer tour. Right, 8.41, 8.42 this morning here on OTB AM. A special Champions League roadshow in association with Virgin Media Sport was taking place last night in the Alex Hotel. You're going to be able to hear the whole show on OTB Sports Radio later on tonight or on Off the Ball from 7 o'clock. Here's a taster. Former Ireland boss Brian Kerr explained why he's not a fan of the McCarthy-Kenny succession plan. 